It's morning, and the mountains of New Mexico are sparkling with snow. Here is the Taos Pueblo, home to the Taos people for over a thousand years. They call themselves the Red Willow People, and they call the Earth their mother. Every part of their lives is in some way connected to the land. Even their homes are made from the ground that they walk on. It's called adobe, and the bricks are made from a mixture of mud, water, and straw, baked hard in the sun. The people believe that all life comes from the earth. It's where their art begins, too. Dig the um, bottom first. Bottom this red first. clay will be shaped into some of the most beautiful pottery in the world. Okay, maybe we should put some of the... The Naranjo family, Dolly, her mother Rose, mm -hmm. and her daughter Jody, make pots from this earth on the Santa Clara Pueblo as their grandmothers did before them. The mixing of the clay is one of the special parts of making pottery. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Uh, the two types of clay are mixed together to give the red clay substance. I am Dolly Naranjo. My family has been making pottery for generations. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. It's, it's really cold. <laughs> the first moment of stepping into it, how cold it is. And after a, a few moments, you know, it warms up. It, your, your body responds to it. This matter that's extremely silky and soft, it becomes a part of you. mixed yet because there are white flecks in there that you can see and if you don't get the white flecks mixed in then when you're making the pots it leaves holes when you've got your feet or your arms in clay it truly does feel like you're in chocolate pudding. I learned how to make pots in the same way that every child who makes pottery in the Pueblos learns to make pottery, which is by watching and doing. The clay is so, so special, and you never waste it. You never, never throw any of it away. You never are disrespectful to the clay in any way. Pottery allows me to feel that I am a part of the world that we live in, and it allows me to be creative and it allows me to express myself. When you begin working and making a pot, it forms itself. And when the pot is ready to close, then it comes together. And when it's finished, it's finished. But it's impossible to try and make a pot be something that it doesn't want to be. But it's done.
I have many, many, many polishing stones. The stones that I have were given to me by my mother when I first started making pottery. The firing is to harden the pots. It makes the pots permanent. The um, tin is right there. Pottery making is just simply a part of your daily life. It's what we do. You know, it's who we are. It is our connection to the earth. Oh, 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 oh.